Hi everyone, in this short tutorial we're going to take a look at the integration between Revit and Tecla Structural Designer. In particular, we're going to focus on the building of an analytical model. So some of you may already know that in Revit 2023 and of course 2024, the analytical model is not built automatically. So the idea with this new piece of software is that when we select the Analyze tab, we actually build the analytical model and then associate each of the analytical members to its physical counterpart. Now, of course, this gives us much more control as structural engineers and technicians, but it does mean that we have to build this independently. Now, Autodesk do actually give us a tool here called Analytical Automation, and it actually works within Dynamo Player, but the results aren't perfect. However, for those of you that have Tecla Structural Designer, we can actually install the ribbon tab for Revit called Tecla Integration, which is this one here. Now, looking at this, you can see that there are two tools that we'll focus on today. We have Create Analytical Model and also Check Analytical Association. So let's open up the physical 3D view in here. And you can see here, I've probably got just over 2,000 members in here. But of course, if I go to the Analytical Model tab, as we know, there's nothing there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and select Create Analytical Model. Now in this case, we're going to build a completely new model from scratch and we're going to send out the entire structural model. But of course, we could just do a selection set if we wanted to as well. And we'll go ahead and select Create. We can now see that we have a dialogue reporting on the number of members that are being created. OK, so you can see it just takes a few seconds. And now you can see that the integrator has given us a report on the number of errors and warnings. And I can clearly see here that there are no errors with the transfer. So let's now take a look at the analytical model. So zooming out here, I can actually see all of the nodes currently being displayed. And what we'll do is we'll just check for unconnected nodes. So we're going to visibility graphics. We'll go to the filters tab. And what we'll do here is we'll add this filter in here, which is unconnected analytical nodes. And we'll override the color here to red so we can actually see this. Let's do that. And then we'll click OK. Now, obviously, some of these nodes are going to be unconnected anyway. So, for example, uh, you can see that there's no foundations uh, down here. That's absolutely fine. And, of course, on the edge of slabs, we would expect there to be no connection. However, you can see that there are some issues with my structural walls here. So, obviously, because the slab has a thickness, you can see that the wall isn't quite coming down deep enough. And again, if I look up to the top of the model here, um, if we just snap back to the physical model, you can see that the walls are attached to this sloping slab. And of course, you can see here that we've got no current structural connection. So again, the integrator isn't perfect, but it certainly gets you quite a long way down the road of creating an analytical model. Now also, if we are going to go and build our own analytical model, what we'll try and do is actually associate each analytical element to its physical counterpart. And actually, the Tecla integration tab will do that automatically. So let's just delete a couple of members in here. And then what we'll do is we'll use check analytical association. So we'll run the tool. And straight away here, I can actually see that a member doesn't actually have an analytical model and also the floor here as well. And as we know with Revit, you can see that I've got the element ID. So, for example, if I want to go and find that, I can copy this to the clipboard. I'll then go back into our 3D working view. I'll select the Manage tab. And on the Manage tab, we can select by ID. So in here, I can paste in that ID and say Show. And I can now see the slab that actually hasn't got the analytical model associated. So let's just pop that in there again. And we'll click show. And we can now see that this is the slab in question over here. OK, so in a future video, we'll actually take a look at how we can build our own Dynamo script to automate some of the analytical model creation. OK, hope that was useful and see you in the next video.